Today we're testing out the BigBattery.com power block. This is the 12 volt model and the 24 volt model. And this model has 2.2 kilowatt hours and this model has 4.4 kilowatt hours. And that's because this has four 170 amp hour lysine cells and this has eight cells. So they're practically the same battery just in a different form factor and voltage. And previously we tested the 12 volt model, but the low temp charging protection did not work. So we're going to take this apart and ensure that that works. And then we're going to do a capacity test with my CVA4 and amplifier system just to see what results that we get. And the more cells that you have in a pack, the more crucial it is to do a capacity test. If there are mismatched cells, it will show in the capacity test results instantly. The planned use case is for stationary storage for off grid or on grid. If you get a sole arc inverter, you could put two of these in series and then use that as your backup storage. And before we do our testing, let's talk about how this pack differs from other packs on the market. First, it has an on and off switch with the voltage readout monitor. And then on the side, we have an Anderson connector, and this is how you connect it to your system. And sold separately is the Anderson connector to ring terminals. I made this one, but you can buy the same thing from Big Battery for $14.99. they also have parallel and series connection cables, and they're gonna come out with a kit soon with two gauge wire and a bus bar. And that's so you can connect multiple batteries for a very large system. Last week, I also did a price per kilowatt hour comparison of all of my batteries, and these are actually almost the same cost as an SOK battery. These are 45 cents per kilowatt hour, and an SOK is 44 cents per kilowatt hour. And this 24 volt pack is 35 cents per kilowatt hour. And unlike other batteries, this one comes with a 300 amp fuse that's replaceable and overcurrent protection on the BMS. So it has double protection. And this was not on the previous model. They have avoided if removed because they actually have a new warranty now. And Big Battery's new warranty is for 10 years. If you have any problems with any of these batteries, they will replace it. So this sticker did not come off with the case. So this was not put on properly. And the temperature sensor seems to have a shorter lead than previously. Oh man, this might be a little bit hard to test. <laughs> uh oh. Now the temperature sensor is on the other side. So let's test it. I love this design. You can swap out these cells in seconds. This is very easy to work on. By the way, Battery Evo is owned by Big Battery. Big Battery is actually a larger company than most people realize. They are pretty massive. So right now it is charging with a power supply. We're gonna dip this temperature sensor lead into this frozen salt water. And hopefully it will stop charging. Now the sensor is inside of the water. Look at that! And the current dropped to zero. Now let's heat it up and see if it will start charging. and it's charging again. So this works perfectly. So luckily Big Battery fixed this problem. It was a pretty easy fix. Uh, they just have to reflash the firmware on the BMS. That's pretty much it. And that was the only concern I had with this battery when I first did the teardown and tested it. And previously the company thought that these cells could be charged at I think negative 20 degrees Celsius and they were incorrect. I got the data sheet and the number said zero. So it's nice that they did this update and yeah, this pack for the price is pretty darn good. And unlike the SOK battery, this one is actually in stock. People have been trying to buy the SOK battery for good reason. It's a nice battery, but man, every single shipment that comes in is pretty much out within a few days. I should also add that BigBattery.com has over a million of these Lysian cells in stock. So they're gonna be making a ton of these batteries. Now that we know that this one works, we're gonna test out the 24 volt model with a capacity test. And this is 92 pounds, so be very careful. If you have a bad back or knees, you need to be very careful while lifting this thing. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. This battery is so big that it could not fit vertically at my test station. Now we're charging this battery with a 24 volt charger and we'll come back in a few hours. So we're at 29.4 volts. We hit high voltage disconnect and current has dropped to zero. So now we're gonna conduct our capacity test. And this is the CVA4 in one amplifier. This is a really nice system for testing large batteries and getting an SOC curve. And now the test has begun. So we'll come back in about five hours and we'll have our results.
and we pulled 4,459 watt hours. We pulled 172 amp hours. These lysine cells always pull their rate of capacity. Now the big question is if you should actually spend your money on this versus other batteries on the market. And I think that will depend on personal preference. If you want to have a voltage readout monitor and a button on your battery, this is probably the pack for you. I personally don't care to know the voltage. If my system is functioning properly, I expect it to not have to be checked. Next, these have Anderson connectors, and for some people that will be a pro, and for some people it will be a con. I am getting more sold on using Anderson connectors because it's very easy to do my testing, and if something's wrong with a battery, or you blow a fuse, or there's a warranty issue, you can unplug it and send it straight back to the company. If you have a large system with traditional battery terminals and you have to remove it, you're going to be wrapping it with electrical tape and then slowly moving that battery out of there. With this, it just makes it easier, especially with these handles. You can just slide one pack out and unplug it and then send it straight back if you need to. And these packs are very serviceable. It's very similar to the SOK battery. If there is a bad cell, you can swap it out. I don't think anyone's going to have any problem with these lysine cells, especially if you use these packs for solar and you keep it in a cool ambient temperature then these should last five to ten years or longer theoretically it should last 15 to 20 years but yeah I'm not gonna count on that even when these batteries are at their limit you can still use them you will have reduced capacity but you'll have like 80% capacity if you have NMC cells you'll probably be at 60 or 50% capacity and then you're gonna have to build your battery bank up again once you hit 80% you can still safely use these so Man, who knows how long people are going to use lithium iron phosphate for. It's such a cheap chemistry for what you get. The longevity is really nice. And these actually have a 10 year warranty. They're trying to compete with other battery manufacturers, obviously. And when they first came out, they had a couple problems, but Big Battery has fixed every single issue. Like everything that I complain about, they're like, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll fix that right now. And it's nice, because some of these companies are kind of cocky and they're like, no, we don't need a warranty. No, we don't need that. No, it doesn't need low temp cutoff. But they listen to everything that I say, and I really do like that. But there are lots of cool batteries on the market today, so it makes it very difficult to choose. If I needed a higher voltage battery, I would probably put two of these in series and call it a day. That would be 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours and cheaper than everything else on the market. So that, this is a nice pack. And building your own batteries is cheaper than buying these packs, but it's nice to have this case and everything built out. If you need like four or six of these to power your home, you just buy them and it's, it's at a pretty good cost. And these are brand new Lysian cells, so they have quite a few good selling points. One downside, I suppose, is this does not have CAN bus communication. I personally do not need it in my systems, but I have some viewers that cannot live without it. So I personally don't want to check on my batteries at all. I like to design my system so I don't have to check it at all and it runs continuously 24 hours a day. Some people like to see the data logging and see everything that's going on. And that's all I can think about with these batteries. They're a nice basic battery for the price. And considering it's practically the same price as an SOK battery and it has more features like a large fuse, a power button, and a voltmeter, some people would say that this is better, but it really depends on your personal preference. I hope you guys liked the video and I will talk to you soon. If there was anything in this video that you disagreed with, please let me know below. So I will talk to you later and thank you so much for watching. Bye.